barbecue with me, Henka Fillion. I'm here at our container kiln at Nile Central in Brewer, Maine. Today I want to talk about uh, moisture metering. Uh, as you all know, you get two different types of moisture meters. You get the capacitance type, which is the ones that you put on top of the wood surface. And you get the resistance one, the ones with the, with the pins. Uh, we get often asked what is the best one to use. Honestly, in the end, it's all about application and about preference and about understanding the product that you have and how to use it properly. Uh, Nile sells the Delmos J2000. We believe it's a very good product. It's very accurate. It gives you, and, and what I like about it, because you're using pins, it can give you a moisture gradient going into the timber, something you cannot get from the capacitance type moisture meters. Uh, this load is currently sitting at about uh, 8 to 10 percent moisture content. As you can see, this is um, this is eastern yellow pine that we're drying in the little Nile uh, DH kiln at our facility. There's some very nice pieces here. There's some pieces that are probably in the range of 14 to 16 inches wide. Look at this guy here. For reference, that's three inches. Three, six, nine, twelve. It's about 15 or 16 inches wide. And we've got minimal cupping happening. Uh, there's a bit of end checking here. Some of this timber has been air dried before. Uh, some of it is freshly cut. The guy that gave it to us for drying was not 100% sure. But um, nonetheless, I think it looks pretty good if you get wide boards like this that are tangentially sawn and there's not an over, an over amount of cupping happening. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm standing inside the kiln. I'm about to do a moisture content test on the load to be busy with. I'm using the Delmos J2000, which now is selling, and this is one of the this is the, um, the model that you guys can win if you submit your questions. Uh, we're drawing Eastern White Pine. I'm about to test the moisture content of this board in our little Nile kiln. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick background on the Delmos moisture meter and how we would set it up for this use. You've got a few things that you can use. You've got the species selection and you've got the temperature setting. Now, this is Eastern White Pine that we're drawing. So we are using species number three, which is the SPF setting. And we've got the temperature setting. We run this kiln at 120F, so you set it to 120F. Now, the reason why we do a temperature correction is when your timber is hot, your moisture reading tend to be uh, higher than when it cools down to ambient temperature. From 120F down to uh, ambient which is uh, between 50 and 70 the timber will still lose about between two and three percent moisture content all right so you will see that i've knocked the pin hammer in only about a quarter inch to do the reason why i'm doing this is to to get the moisture gradient from the outside to the inside as we know timber always dries from the outside to the inside so i've knocked it in about a quarter of an inch measuring 7.8 percent so i'm going to knock it in a bit more sitting at 11 11.8 so this timber is still uh, a while to go we want to get it down to between six and eight percent another thing about the, when you're using the hammer is to always tighten these little nuts when they get loose, they tend to break the pins a lot easier. Another small thing I want to show you quickly. On your Delmos, you got these small little pins, which are not insulated. When you use the hammer, it's got the insulated pins. The, the small pins here is, will give you a, a good average reading of the surface of the timber. So I'm not very fond of using that. I prefer to use the the hammer with the longer pins because it can give you a, a, a better reading of your um, of your moisture gradient. Okay, we had a question on the internet uh, on LinkedIn page for null dry kilns about end coating and why we end coat. The question was done by Norman. Uh, now Norman, uh, I did explain on the page but I want to show you what actually is the difference between the middle of the board and the end of the board. 
inside the Nile dry kiln on site. Um, we're drying eastern white pine. I'm going to take a measurement of a board about three foot from the end of it. Let me just tilt the camera so we can all see what's happening here. All right. Using the, the almost J2000. I'm going to take a measurement. You never take a measurement along the grain. You always take it across the grain. And you knock it in about halfway. Okay, let me see. See that? Get the moisture reading there. It's 9.7%. 9.8% Okay, we're going to move along the board towards the end Oops. I'm going to take a measurement right here Seven point four percent. Seven point two percent. Okay, so Norman, there you have it. The reason why we end cut is to make sure that the board is trying a lot more even. These boards are not end coated. If they were end coated, the difference would have been significantly less or maybe even nothing. Okay, that's it for moisture mixes. I hope you found it interesting. Please feel free to send me questions or comments on my email that's listed down below. See you next time.